It is December the 20th, 2020. This is the Menorcan Mullet Report from the Golden Ray Rec site in the St. Simon Sound on a wet day. Uh, really no wind out on the sound today, but rain started uh, in the afternoon and continued on through the evening. And of course we made it out uh, about the time it started raining. And this is what we got for you today. We didn't see a lot of activity on the surface. Um, we know that some dive operations were uh, ongoing. Um, we heard radio traffic and knew that uh, they had divers down and we're assuming uh, drilling or cutting somewhere near the near the stern section. Uh, we could see uh, the dive boats at the stern of the boat, um, uh, at the stern of the Golden Ray when I say boat. So that, yeah, they were, they were out there getting some things done, but not a lot of stuff going on on the surface. Uh, one thing we did notice again today that the uh, environment, environmental barriers were still uh, not in uh, between piles six and five and 10 and 11. Um, those areas were still open. Um, I'm assuming this is for access for the, uh, the crew boats that are going in and out. That's kind of different from what we, we saw previously while they were cutting. Um, maybe this is a tactic of theirs uh, since they're not cutting just to open those sections up to allow access in and out without having to worry about moving the gates on the end. Not sure when they're going to get back started cutting. We've heard rumors now that it won't be until after uh, the first of the new year. Time will tell, um, but from what we've seen so far, it seems uh, highly probable that those rumors are probably true. Uh, we shall see. No definite word from Unified Command, um, but from what we're what we're seeing out on the site, it looks like there are going to be some more delays until they're ready to move the VB10,000 over that uh, stern section, uh, section eight, and begin the cutting operation. Now we've heard that they're going to start cutting uh, top side as well as bottom side. Um, don't know if those operations will will be ongoing simultaneously or whether there will be one and then the other. Uh, time will tell. But from what we understand, there is going to be, we are going to see uh, some of that activity uh, both on the top and then. Um, what we saw with the cutting of the first section. Now we've got some uh, close-ups, some zoom-ins for the um, dive operations. You can see some of the boats that were working inside the environmental barrier uh, around the VB-10,000. Um, of course, the Coast Guard has extended the 150-yard safety barrier out to 200 yards. So we have to pull back just a little bit farther. Um, we are able to get a few shots in there and see a little bit about what's going on. Um, we're going to have a couple shots here. Uh, there's pile six. Uh, we see the barrier not in place there. And we'll go back over and see uh, between piles 10 and 11, 
that uh, that barrier was uh, not there as well. Um, not sure what that means. We were just under the impression that this was going to be a once this ship got cut, we were really going to be protective of the uh, environmental barrier and um, not leave any gaps or anything like that. And here we see this guys. These guys are still open. Uh, it might all just be part of the plan, but just something we noticed, observations we made out on the site. Just trying to keep you guys up to breast what we see. We'll see some of the some of the dive uh, boats that were at the stern of the ship. Uh, you can see the surface boat there, and then right kind of wedged in between the stern, right in there, you'll see uh, uh, the boats that are associated with the dive operation. I'm sure this uh, these conditions are probably real favorable for the divers, um, with with pretty calm seas. Um, of course, this water in South Georgia, um, it's, um, it's pretty much all considered black water diving. You can't really see your hand in front of your face. It's very difficult. Um, uh, when there's any sort of visibility, it's going to be limited to a few feet. And those guys certainly have, have their challenges before them. And our hat's off to those, those dive operators that are out there getting the job done. Hey, we appreciate you guys staying with us and watching the channel. If you haven't done so yet, we ask that you hit the subscribe button. Uh, send us some comments. We love to get those. You guys stay safe out there.